Hello friends, Mr. Culp here and I'm here to talk to you about how to complete this interactive graphic organizers for the topics and themes. Let's get started. So this topics and themes graphic organizer on our first slide we have our instructions and then on the second slide we have a graphic organizer. So let's take a look at the description. The description, I can say those words. A description is a topic of what the text is basically about. These are usually one word or phrase answers. So like it's about forgiveness, it's about showing compassion. These are topics. So a theme is a universal idea that the author is exploring about that topic. So if they're exploring friendship, what are they saying? What are they, what are they trying to get us to think about when it comes to friendship? Perhaps, you know, keep your friends close and your enemies closer, or having a friend is worth its weight in gold. Things like that. Those are themes. If you need more help on understanding the difference, please make sure you reach out to your teacher or rewatch your instructional video. So for this graphic organizer, your task is to identify the topic and the theme being explored of a text and justify your answer with evidence. So the directions explicitly say, using the story from Google Classroom and the graphic organizer on the next slides, identify the topic of the text and at least one theme the author of the story is attempting to convey and support it with textual evidence. Remember, there can be multiple themes. So I want to say this now, this video is exploring here, but the underlying words might change. It might be using the lyrics, using a video clip. So the directions might be slightly different. Please make sure you read them for yourself. So let's talk about how to fill this out. So you're going to click on the next slide and you're going to see that there are boxes that you are going to work in. So it says click here to add subtitle. So all you need to do is click here to add what you want to write. So let's pretend that we just read, thank you, ma'am. I'm going to type that in like that. That's it. So now I'm going to go to my topic, click on the box and type it in. And I'm going to say the importance of kindness was the topic. And, and I'm going to make sure I spell that right. So I'm going to go back and right click on it. And I did mean kindness. Now, when you right click, always make sure you read all the words because it's not always going to be the first one or only one because you might be way off. So you're going to complete this. So the topic is importance of kindness. So what was the author trying to say about the importance of kindness? So perhaps the message that the author had was that sometimes people make mistakes and just need someone to show them kindness and love to set them on a better path. But of course, now I need to like justify that this is truly a theme in the text. So I'm going to either cite a line or summarize an event that supports my theme. So for thank you, ma'am, there wasn't just one specific line that made me kind of get this theme. So I might say something like, in the beginning, Roger tried to steal from Miss Luella Bates Washington Jones. And instead of calling the police or turning him in, she's shown him kindness and compassion by taking him home, feeding him, and even giving him $10. So I summarized a bunch of the events instead of just one specific line. But you can do either or. But remember, if you cite a line, you need to put the author's words in quotation marks and you need to include the author's name and page number in parentheses after the quotation marks. Check out our citing evidence video if you need support with that. Bye friends.